Hey everybody, welcome to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you the very best tips and tools to owning your own Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to help you be more successful at having a great server. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on. Make sure you hit that notification bell and turn on all notifications. If you feel like you get any value out of this video, make sure you smash that like button for me. And make sure if you have any comments or any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. I do my very best to respond to every single one of them. All right, so today is a pretty exciting video. I'm taking this opportunity to introduce you guys to a developer that I absolutely, mm, what's the word? I might have a bit of a man crush on this guy. The two main reasons why I like this developer so much is he is absolutely meticulous about the coding in all of his plugins. There are no mistakes. And if you find a mistake, you let him know and he fixes it. Like his coding is a work of art when you compare it to some of the other guys that are out there. But the second reason why I like this guy so much is because he gave me access to his plugins that he was running on his own server and nobody else has them. So there are plugins that I run on Primal Unlimited that literally nobody else in the world has except for maybe him. So if you're looking for ways to make your server original and not like everyone else's, this guy's plugins is the way to do it. All right, so this developer's name is MJSU and that's how you search him up. Go to umod.org, type in the search bar MJSU and it'll show you his list of plugins. Now, I'll give you a warning right off the bat. He's just joined umod in the last four to six weeks or something like that. So his full catalog of plugins is not available yet, but the plugins that he does have on there are gold, trust me. So go check out his plugins. Today we're gonna to be talking about a plugin of MJ's that is his version or his take on a plugin that's already out there called InfoPanel, which is the plugin that allows you as the server owner to display different types of information to your players. So with server info, as you know, you can have an economy balance in the bottom left-hand corner. You can have custom messages to your players in the top right hand corner. You can have the time of day. There's a ton of information that you can display across info panels. In fact, I've already done a video on info panels. If you wanna check that out, click on the card in the top right hand corner right now, but make sure you come back to this video because I much prefer MJ's way of portraying that information across to my players. And I think you will too. One of the biggest reasons why I prefer this version is because it is way easier to customize the information that you're displaying to your players. And the plugin itself is way more customizable than the original is in that you can change your icons if you want to. You can change the colors of your text way easier. Each individual piece of information can have an entirely different format to it. So you can have different font sizes. You can have different text colors. It's just way more customizable. Now, that being said, though, it's also it can also come across as a little bit more difficult to set up. So that's why I'm doing this tutorial, because I want to show you guys that it's not as hard as it looks. So let me take you in and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to see when you search up his catalog of plugins. So as soon as you land on the UMOD website, you want to click on community, go down to contributors, click on that. And as you can see here, MJSU is the fourth one down. Now that's going to change based on how many plugins each developer has. But right now, as of the recording of this video, he's the fourth one down on the list. So click on his name and then we can just click on plugins right here. So if you want to check out some of these other plugins that he has listed on here, feel free to do that. I'm of course going to do tutorials on every single one of his plugins as they come out because they are seriously gold. So the plugin that I want to talk about today is Magic Panel. So the first time you go to the UMOD website and search up Magic Panel, plus I'm going to put a link to it in the video description down below, you're going to see that there's a lot of different options that come with this plug, or not that come with this plugin, but that can be used with this plugin. So I want you to picture it like this. So we have the base plugin, which is called Magic Panel, but it does absolutely nothing by itself. But it is the base that we need to start out with in order to start building on top of that. So basically you take your magic panel and then you add different panels or different sections of information that you wanna have going on your server. So as you can see on the list right here, these are all of the different panels that he already has built that can be added to magic panel. You don't have to use all of them. You can go through the list and pick which ones you wanna use. I'm gonna show you three or four today so that you can see what they look like and how they're gonna interact on your server. Plus I'm gonna go through a couple of different options for each one of the panels. So make sure you take a couple of minutes and familiarize yourself with this list of available panels that you can partner up with Magic Panel. So as you can see on my screen right now, I've got a couple of different panels all over the place. So top left-hand corner, I've got a player count. Top right-hand corner, I've got some messages going on. Bottom left-hand corner, 
I've got some balances and some, and it looks like in server time. So first things first, we want to remove that info panel. So if you already have info panel running on your server, you're going to want to remove it because it'll be redundant to have both. All right, so there we go. As you can see, those info panels have been removed. I just took the plugin and completely deleted it out of our test server for now. And I'm going to show you how magic panel works. So like I said at the beginning, you have to install magic panel, even though it doesn't necessarily do anything visual right off the bat, you have to add stuff to it. So I'm going to go ahead and install magic panel first, and I'll show you that it actually doesn't do anything until we start adding other panels to it. If you've never seen how to install a plugin before, make sure you click on the card in the top right hand corner right now. It shows you how to install a plugin and what to expect while you're doing that. As you can see on my console, the plugin was successfully installed. Let's hop into game real quick and I'll just show you that absolutely nothing changed. So yes, I'm going to show you nothing. There we go. Nothing changed on the screen. You don't see any panels anywhere. Okay, let's get started with the fun stuff. So I decided I'm actually going to show you seven of the different panels that we can use. I'm going to install them one at a time though, so that you can see the changes that are happening as I'm installing the plugins. So think of it like this. We've got our base plugin, which is magic panel. And then we get to decide which panels we actually want to show. So the first plugin that I'm going to show you is the magic players panel. And all of these plugins, all of these different panels that you want to have installed on your server, they work exactly like you would expect any other plugin to work. So you just drag and drop it or copy and paste it into your plugins folder. The configuration is a little bit different. We're going to get into that in a second. It's going to appear a little bit different, but I'll show you that once we get there. Okay, Magic Player Panel has been successfully installed. Let's hop over in game and see what it looks like. Okay, so now as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, there is a little there's a little people icon with a one out of 10. So I am the one player that's on the server, but I have an available 10 slots. So I'm going to leave my screen view like this so that you can see as I'm installing the other six panels that I want to show you guys. So that one is magic airdrop panel. I don't know if you can see that it only highlights once there's actually a plane in the air. So I'll show you that same thing goes with the Bradley panel that's now on there. So the next panel that we have on there is it's called the white panel, which tells your players how many days until the next wipe. Now, if you have this panel on your server on the day of a wipe, it's just going to say today. But as of tomorrow, it will show how many days are remaining left in this wipe. And that's all configurable inside the config file for magic white panel. And now we have a hostility panel on there. So basically the outpost doesn't allow you to enter it if you're considered hostile. So if you've damaged a player, an animal, whatever, whatever it is that triggers the hostility factor, this will start a countdown timer on your screen so that your players know how long they're hostile for. Now at the very bottom of the screen there, you can see it says message two. We can customize that to say whatever it is that we want it to say. I've just triggered the Bradley to spawn. So now that you can see that that icon has lit up a very bright green instead of just the shadowy gray that it was before. So now all of the players on the server know that the Bradley is out. And same thing goes for the airdrop. Anytime there is an airdrop called in or if the server just automatically calls in the airdrop, that the airplane icon will light up that bright green. And of course, that is also customizable as well. Okay, so now that we've got a couple of panels installed onto our test server, let's go into the config file and actually see what things we can change on each one. I'm not going to go through all of them, mainly because of how he sets up his plugins. Anything like so all of these different panels, their config files are set up almost exactly the same. So all of the same information is going to be in the same places. It's not like you have to learn each individual plugin in order to customize it to the way that you want it to perform. So like I said before, the config files for magic panels is a little bit different. So once you go into your config folder, he actually has it set up so that all of the configs for magic panel go into their own folder, which is different. I don't think we've ever seen that before. So that's kind of super exciting. It makes it a lot easier to keep it all organized so that you know where all of your magic panels are instead of searching through your entire list of plugin configs to find one singular one that you're looking for to make changes to. We can go into the magic panel folder and there's our seven panels that we've installed on our test server. So let's just pick one and go in and make some changes. So let's do magic messages panel. So there's a couple of things worth noting inside of all of the config files. You can actually change where they're displayed on the screen. So as you can see right now, our message panel is down at the very bottom of the screen. So that is called the bottom dock. 
We could change that to the center dock, which would put it right above the hotbar. We could do center upper, which would put it just above that. There's a couple of different docks that we can use inside this plugin in order to put the information in the right place, wherever it is that you want it to be. This section right here is basically how we're going to display that information. So font color, font size, etc., etc. But this next section down here is where we get to actually display what information we want to show our players. I'm just going to go through here real quick and I'm going to put in a couple of really quick messages and then I'm going to save and reload the plugin and show you what it looks like once we're back in game. Okay, so I've gone through and changed the first three default messages plus I've added another two. You can literally put in as many messages as you want in here and you can control how long it displays on the screen before it flips to the next message. That's this section right below, update rate in seconds. So every 15 seconds by default, it's going to switch to the next message. All right, so let's save and reload this plugin and see what it actually looks like in game. All right, so there you go. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, it is now cycling through all of those different messages that I put into the config. I changed my cycle time to five seconds just so they would all happen really quickly. It's just another really great way for you to get information to your players. It's in a small and discreet location, so it's not blocking everybody's view. In my opinion, this is a far cleaner way of getting that information across to your players. Okay, so talking about the different dock locations, as you can see, I've got a player marker down in the bottom left-hand corner. Well, let's say we didn't wanna have that in that location. Let's say we wanted to put it right above the hotbar. Well, we can do that too. So let's jump back into the server real quick. I'll show you the config for the players panel, what changes to make in order so that that panel is where we want it to be. So we just go back to our config folder and we open up magic players panel. And there we go. So by default, it's set to the left top dock. Well, let's, we want to change that to above the hotbar, which is the center dock. So we just change that to center and we save that and we can close it and we can reload the plugin, which looks just like that. And then we go back in game. And as you can see, that panel has now shifted from the bottom left hand corner to right above the hotbar. One other thing that I think a lot of people are going to want to do is change the color of this text. Not everyone is going to want it white. In fact, I don't even like it white, but I do like the fact that MJ has left it white to start out with. So let's go and change the color of the player counter. So this is the line that we want to make the change to by default is at line 28. So we want to change the hex code for the text. So to do that, just go to your favorite hex color picker. Doesn't matter. Google has tons of them. You can just search for hex color picker and pick from the hundreds that'll show up. So let's just say we want to change this to this really obnoxious bright green. So let's just grab this hex code right here and jump back to our config. And we're going to place that there. We're going to save. We're going to reload. And let's hop back in game to make sure that it actually took effect. All right, so there you go. As you can see, now the player counter is the very obnoxious bright green that I said that we wanted. A little bit easier to view. Okay, so that is Magic Panels by MJSU, and it is available from the UMod website. Make sure you check out this dude's catalog of plugins. He is a genius. I've just shown you seven of the different panels that we can use with this plugin. There's actually 34 different panels that you can choose from. Not everyone is going to use them all, but you definitely can if you're using the plugins that are applicable for those panels. So make sure you familiarize yourself with the different panels that are available to go with Magic Panel. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. And if you want to check out some other videos from this same series, make sure you click on the videos to the right-hand side of the screen. And of course, if you haven't already done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button right there. And I'll see you guys on the next one.